Hi friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So in this tutorial, we'll take up a small uh, simple topic called as parameterized cursors. So in my previous tutorials, I've already discussed regarding what are cursors and the different types of cursors like uh, implicit cursor, explicit cursor and ref cursors and all. So we'll just uh, discuss what is the parameterized cursor in this uh, tutorial. So there's no much difference between a normal cursor and parameterized cursor. As the name suggests itself, we know that the parameterized cursor will have parameters in it. That is, uh, we should be using this parameter parameterized cursors only when uh, we don't know the value to be passed during its uh, declaration. So that we can pass the value dynamically to the cursors. That is, wh whenever the cur cursors are getting open, at that time we can uh, pass the values to it uh, based on our program. So this board is about parameters cursor. To repeat again, uh, the parameter cursor will have the parameters. That's the first point. And the second one will be like uh, we can use this uh, parameters cursor only uh, when we don't know the value that needs to be passed during its declaration. So that uh, whenever we are opening the cursor, we'll be knowing what kind of value should be passed. So that it does it just means that we are going to pass the value dynamically to the cursors. And also, uh, it is very helpful in reduction of uh, codes, you know, compared to the normal cursors and all. So these are the points that needs to be remembered uh, during uh, when you're working with the parameters cursor. So here I have a simple program uh, already just written. So we'll just uh, see what this program does. So you can see that uh, I have uh, declared. Uh, I mean, I have uh, mentioned some of the variables called vt, v1, and vjob and all. So this vt is nothing but a variable of a uh, number type. From here will be uh, vt is will take the input from the keyboard, and the v1 and v job are the two pa uh, variables which is used in further uh, program. We'll see why it is used, and then we are specifying a cursor named as cur underscore aemp, and you can see this cursor is nothing but parameterized cursor. This word is called as parameter cursor. You can see that uh, this cursor is taking a parameter that is it's taking argument to it that is p job. So this cursor is nothing but uh, you can see the cursor does nothing but just it will select the e name from the employee where uh, p uh, job is nothing but p job. This p job is given through the parameter whatever value is passed to it the same va value is used in this query in order to fetch the data. Okay, so begin and then uh, we are just seeing whether whatever choice that has been entered by the keyboard if it is one then we are saying v job should be clerk else if uh, the uh, keyboard value is entered as two then we are going to say v job is going to be manager you can see that uh, these are case sensitives so we'll see how it works later then uh, or if no uh, you know none of the value matches then we are going to say that v job is nothing but it's going to be analyst so, so that see, uh, thing is, what happens is whenever uh, this program is run, we are going to enter some value. That is, the user is going to enter some value. So, just think that I'm going to enter one, and then the V job value is going to be clerk. So that means this cursor will take the value. This P job var care is going to take the value as clerk. So what happens is it will just select the E name from the employee table based on the job as clerk and it will display the value of uh, whoever you know the employee name uh, name who are the, like the employee names of uh, all the people who are whose job is clerk job okay so that is what this program does then after doing this we are like opening the cursor and then looping it until it we we are fetching all the values from it then exit based on the the some of the uh, cursor attributes we already seen all these uh, cursor attributes everything in our previous tutorials so it's just simple just it's uh, there's no much difference between a parameterized and a normal cursor all the attributes are the same so we are exi exiting uh, based on the uh, current employee if it is not found then we are outputting it using the DB, uh, dbms output put line then ending the loop and closing the cursor so now let us run this program and see what exactly our uh, program output is like so you can see that it's asking for a value enter value for a choice I'm going to say one so one you can see Johnny is being displayed so if you go and see our table 
can see Johnny that is clerk the small they have given clerk in small case so that Johnny is being displayed you can see that there are the other clerks which are of um, you know um, um, you know bigger caps so those things are not uh, displayed that means we can make out from this only th these uh, values and all are case sensitive so again if I enter the value like uh, I'll enter as a 2 you can see John uh, Jones Blake clerk and all is displayed so this is what is called as parameterized cursor so that is nothing but passing the param value or the argument to it to the cursor so hope uh, this tutorial was helpful if there are any queries then please do mail me to plsql.informatica.gmail.com and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching.